Welcome, ancient ones. Thank you to everyone that has liked, commented, shared, and subscribed, that has booked a session or a lesson, that has sold a seed to the channel. Endless gratitude to all of you, as always, for any information you may need that will be in the description box below. I've already meditated and prayed over the session, so I'm going to go ahead and jump in. Remember, take what resonates and what doesn't apply, let it fly. You are accessing ancient memories from Atlantis because you had a past life there. You could have been someone that held a very high rank. And you're accessing these memories because it is time for you to integrate that past life and bring back the information that you had there into your time here now. This is because your calling is higher. You could even be experiencing very vivid or lucid dreams of water worlds. You could even be being drawn to watch a lot of movies based around water worlds or even based around uh, marine life, such as watching documentaries about sharks, dolphins, whales. For some of you, you're even spending a lot of time in water or by large bodies of water. There's something about waterfalls here for someone, so you could even be, uh, you know, hiking purposely to waterfalls and meditating by waterfalls. You could even live near waterfalls. Someone here is definitely visiting or they live near Niagara Falls. So let's go ahead and jump in here and see what's going on. Tell us more about these ancient divine beings and their past life in Atlantis. Sheesh. Look at that. Memories of Atlantis popped out with star gathering. They want you to stay aligned because you're remembering home. Like I said, this is someone here that had a past life. There are multiple uh, uh, past lives here. It's almost like you just kept going back because you loved it so much. So you're definitely, like I said, you're someone that's meant to um, remember your past life here and bring back these, these memories because of certain technologies there, but also for your own spiritual ascension. You're making heavy progress, but you're recalling your soul family. You're recalling the time that you spent there at home. Give us one more. What else do they need to know? Yeah, for some of you, this could even have been Lumoria. You could definitely be receiving communication from, from, from your soul family telepathically or even from ancient beings there. For some of you, um, you most definitely are working with certain beings from there. Yeah, at this time, look at this. Higher heart activation, dropping shields, divine love. Your heart is healed. You are healing this past life. You are receiving downloads and colds so that you can heal your heart there. For some of you, it's because you've missed this place. You've missed this home tremendously. There's something about you, you know, being there and, 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 and how peaceful you felt. And maybe it's a, it's a lot different from, you know, being here, from, from being in a place where there's a lot of discourse. You could have um, a gold necklace with the Ankh on it. Tell us more. What else do these ancient divine beings need to know? Yeah, look at this. Woman holding a coin. For some of you, you're gathering information to bring it back because it's part of your purpose. This is where your, your financial abundance is coming from. This is how you're going to make a living for yourself. This might even be you getting into past life regression and helping others to past life regress so that they can recall their, their time in these ancient civilizations. Yeah, something said pick up this deck. You're receiving third eye activation. So that's why a lot of you are really seeing very vividly what this is. Being able to really recall this through meditation. There's something about you even releasing certain aspects of, uh, uh, for some of you, it could have been karma that you picked up there. Or it could have been karma you picked up from an, another past life and you're wanting to get back to who you were and how you were in this life with this higher heart activation. 
This is also what's aligning you to these memories is because some of you have a very pure heart, very pure, full of love, full, full of just unconditional love for others. You're very inner standing and understanding as well as overstanding of others. You're someone who, who doesn't judge. You could own a cat or even a black cat. You could be seeing a lot of black cats. Yeah, but you don't judge. You, you live and let others live. You're just very nurturing, very healing. You could have even very well been a healer back in those times or been in training as a healer. Look at this, yeah, this is someone here. Very f much feminine energy because of this water here thinking about this past life with the thinking woman popping out. Five, five, five on a timer, as I said that. Thinking about this past life, wanting to go back. Yeah, look at this with the third chakra here, solar plexus, Archangel Sham Shamayel with the angel of balance. You're remembering who you are. You're remembering why you've come here. You're gaining your confidence. The solar plexus represents the seat of power. You are literally in the seat of your power right now. You could be 37 or 48. You could be 47 or 42. Yeah, look at this with goddess of the moon here. You are uncovering ancient secrets from this past life. You are recovering ancient magic and utilizing your intuition as it's being heavily activated during this time. You could be 52. Tell us more. Sheesh. Yeah, you have an attachment to this life. For some of you, it's a bit hard for you to let go. You could be a life path number five or your birthday could be on the fifth. But for some of you, this past life is hard for you to let go. You're, you're literally longing for home. You're longing to go home. You miss, you miss it, like I said before, you miss it, but it's not meant for you to stay attached there. It's meant for you to really heal yourself and bring forth this love into this time, into this timeline. It's meant for you to share your knowledge because that is where your prosperity lies. It is meant for you to really uh, channel messages from there. Yeah, look at this with financial constraints. What, as soon as I said, this is your, this is where your prosperity lies. For some of you, you're currently under financial restraints. You're cur currently wondering what it is that you're supposed to be doing or where you're supposed to be going. The so number 13 could be significant for you. Tell us more about this financial constraint. It's because you're not living in your truth. You're not you're not really aligning yourself with what your purpose is. For some of you, you are high priests, high priestesses, you are healers. And so you're meant to take these memories of Atlantis and bring back that knowledge here so that you can access it and like I said, help others. Yeah, you have a contract. You have a contract with this past life, with your higher self to literally Retrieve these memories and bring it back here to educate others, to help heal others, to utilize the information you're gaining. You could be a life path number six. Your birthday could be on the sixth, the fifth, or the thirteenth, or the fifth month, or the sixth month. These are three cards, and y'all know I love that. So we're going to take it. Yeah, look at this. This world, like I said, this world that we're in now, it brings you great anxiety because of the discourse, because of certain things that are going on here and you don't like it. And so this is where this attachment to this past life is coming in at. You, you, you miss home. You're remembering home at this time. And sometimes you might even get a little sad about it, but you're meant to be here now because you're meant to bring in balance, to bring in order with yin and yang out here. You're, you're someone who is literally an angel of balance. You're meant to restore order. You're meant to bring forth healing. Master number 22 could be your life path number, or you could be 22. Your birthday could be on the 27th, or this number follows you heavily. Look at this. Like I said, door to value here. This is going to open up a door to value with walking away at the bottom. It's time for you to release 
this past life so you need to integrate it and bring it here because it's going to release you from these financial constraints there are there are so many people out here that want to learn about atlantis and uh you know certain civilizations and you have the knowledge to help them you have the knowledge to even help them access these memories for themselves Tap in here and get some psychic tarot. I'm hearing hearing that you're handling this well, though. Your birthday could be on the 18th of the month. You could be 29 years old. You could be 31. Yeah, but I'm hearing you're handling this well. You're not really letting it get you down, but you kind of you you knew like yeah, I'm connected to this place. This is where I'm meant to be. Tell us more. What else do these ancient divine beings need to know? What else do these ancient divine beings need to know? Yeah, you have a great awareness about this. You have a great awareness about yourself. Um, like I said, you're definitely someone that is telepathic, that is connected. You're connected to these ancient beings from Atlantis. And you even have a guide from there who is helping you navigate this. You could be a life path number one. Your birthday could be on the first. Or your birthday could be in January. Someone here is a rare, uh, you're that rare zodiac sign. You're definitely someone that's... Um, you're very different in how you think and how you express yourself and how you look. You stand out. And you have a great awareness about yourself, but also about others as well. And it's, a, it's really a gift. Yeah, look at this. You're meant to speak your truth about this. You're meant to really speak about these memories from Atlantis and share with others. Bring back um the information to help others heal and spiritually um accelerate and progress again third time out here with balance you're meant to balance this past life integrate it so that you can help others here and bring in balance for yourself and for others um whether this is directly or indirectly goodness your birthday could be on november 5th any last messages Ooh. Way too many. I'm going to take these cards because they came out in three. Yeah, look at this. Uh, fulfillment of wishes. You're going to be rejoicing and celebrating. And for some of you, this is where love begins. This is where love begins for your journey, for yourself, for others. But also for some of you, this is where love begins because you might even have a, a very sacred divine union from this past life. And they're here with you now. But this is that's where exactly where this journey is taking you. Yeah, bottom of the deck, transformation and harmony. You're transforming into harmony. You're really integrating this past life. It's your destiny. Yeah, this could have brought you mental conflict. They're wanting you to have patience because you're going to defeat this conflict then defeat. You're going to overcome this emotional loss. Because it's time for you to stand your ground. You are the light. You are meant for victory and success. Like I said, you're going to overcome this. You're going to overcome whatever may be holding you back. Whatever anxieties, whatever fears, whatever intimidation or manipulation you might have received. Whether it was from your family. Whether it was from, you know, other forces the forces that be. <laughs> but you're going to overcome this. You have a very bright light within you. You are someone that is very ancient. And you're called here now to bring forth this healing in this day and age. Okay? So with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to send back all of your power and energy fully and completely. And I fully and completely call back my power and energy. And I close out this reading. Thank you so much, Ancient Ones. I love you all so much. I hope you guys are doing great out there. All right.